So hi, this is a, a tutorial on how to install a new build. Um, unbeknownst to everyone, today the Echo Wizard, which is what we normally use to install the build, is no longer being used. It has been shut down. So I've got another build that we can install here, and it works well. Uh, I've tried it and played movies on it, so I know it works. Uh, it's not too hard to do, and I'm going to step you through it right now, so let's get going. Uh, let's go over here to settings. I'm going to go down and go to applications. Manage installed applications. Scroll down to Kodi. Launch the application, and it should come up and look something like this. So when it first comes up, you'll see a screen similar to this. It may have, if you scroll around, it may have Echo Wizard over to the right, uh, but it is no longer in use. So just ignore it if it is on your uh, build. So first thing, let's go up here to the Settings tab, which is the little gear at the top. Select that and scroll over to System Settings on the far right. Select it. Scroll down to Add-ons. And we want to make sure that this unknown sources is selected. It will not install if we do not have that selected. So from this side of the page, scroll to add-ons, press the right button, scroll down to unknown sources, select it with the center button on your remote, and then select yes. Once that is done, you'll see that it turns white and then we want to back out one time and scroll down to file manager. Select File Manager, and we want to select Add Source. So just push the down button, select Add Source, and you'll see the little box pop up. And this is where you type in the new address of where we are going to find the build. So select None there, just select it, and it brings you up a browser where you can type everything in. And you want to make sure you type this in exactly as it is. Uh, it's going to be HTTP colon forward slash, forward slash, one, alliance, dot, x, y, z, Slash repo. And take a second to look at this and make sure that you've got it typed in exactly as it looks right here. And once you're once you've verified it, press to the right and select OK. Now scroll down to the other box, which is just below it, by pressing the down button, and we'll just call this the same. Uh, one alliance. It really doesn't matter what you call it as long as you can find it here in a few minutes. So I'm just going to call it one. Select to the right and hit OK once more. Once those two are in, go down, press OK, and you will see that the one is there now. So we will back out. We want to back out again and one more time. This, well, Sorry, this is the final. This is the home screen for Cody. Um, so scroll down to add-ons here. Select it. And then you want to push the up button and select the little box right here. So once you select the box, you'll see these options. And you want to stop, you want to install from zip file. Select install from zip. Go to the one or whatever you named it just a few minutes ago. Select it. Scroll down to plugin.program.1alliancewizard.zip and select that. And then you'll have to give it a minute or two for it to load. You will see it pop up in the top right corner when it is finished. So just let it set and wait just a moment.
And unfortunately, as you can see, it takes some time. There, it finally populated as you can see at the top. Uh, and once that is installed, it will automatically pop up with the next string if you just let it set. And at this point, you just want to push the down arrow, or I'm sorry, it's already on continue. And that's all you need to do. You don't need to enable anything else, just select continue. So the box at the bottom is blue, it's highlighted. Just enter with your remote. And you want to select the build menu. <clears throat> Once selected, it's going to go through and clear anything that it may find. Um, at this point, you can just hit continue again. And just ignore because you've already got it popped up. So we want to install the 17 Krypton builds, which are down at the bottom. Ignore the ones at the 16, go down here. And the One Alliance Krypton build at the top, the version 1.1.7 is the one I have installed and tried and it worked well. So we'll select that again. And you wanna scroll down to where it says standard install, which is the very bottom. Select it, and just give it a minute. I know it looks like it's not doing anything, but it is. I'll select yes, install. And at this point, it's gonna download and extract the build. So we just wait again until it's all finished. This build is fairly small and it downloads quickly. It takes a little longer to extract than a lot, but it is very quick once you get it up and running. Again, we apologize for the problems you guys are facing right now. This was a uh, hit to many, many people about the Echo Wizard closing like it did. There was no warning. It just shut down. So, So once the downloading is complete, it will start extracting the files. At that point, you're pretty much finished. So take the break and go get you a drink and come back. This should be pretty close to being done.
Now we're almost finished. <clears throat> Once it finishes up, it's going to ask you to, to close or to force close, which you'll see in just a moment. Would you like to force close? Cody, we want to force close. So go ahead and select that. It'll close everything out. Give it a few minutes. And just launch the application again. And I know it went black, but just give it a minute. It's, it's booting the, basically a little run package that it does. Uh, once that's all finished, All right, so hit your back button here, and there you go. The build is installed. Give it another minute or two and let everything uh, update. As you can see at the top, everything's starting to update. Um, just because the Echo Wizard, as you can see, updated doesn't mean it's working. So, But once all these are up, once uh, all the little blocks off the top go away, uh, the build should be ready to go. Give it a few more minutes because if you can see any lagging like at the top, it's still updating. It just doesn't pop up one right after another. So from there, it looks like it's pretty much good to go. Uh, if it does start to update anymore, just stop what you're doing and let it finish. So just scroll to the left and right, just like you would on a normal build. Uh, here's your movies, TV shows, um, maintain, of course, is maintenance type stuff. I don't know what everything is. I have not played with this yet, so bear with me. If you have any questions, I will answer them as well as easily as, or as soon as I can, to the best of my ability. Um, but different categories and everything seems to work pretty well. Um, I'll click on the movies tab here. And as you can see, it pops up right away. Select movies. I'll go to people watching. I do like the build. It is quick. So that's that's a bonus. So these are the movies people are watching right now. We'll pick one and Pick one, see if it plays. Oh, looks like we're updating still. So there you go, it is working. All right, so, and then just press your center button and stop, and we're going to back out. And 
and I'm just going to go to power and hit quit. So there you go. If you have any questions, let us know. Hopefully this is, helps and you like the build. Thanks.